All right, welcome back everybody to another episode of Shondo on the Go. And I have an amazing guest today coming to us from Fujitsu. We want to welcome Tatiana. Tatiana, welcome. Hello. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. I'm sure you know a lot about Fujitsu guys. So I believe everybody knows Fujitsu is multinational IT company headquartered in Japan that produces computer hardware, servers, right. yeah. desktop, laptops, right? But Tatiana, you're not making uh, no. chips, computers, or microwaves. What, what part right. of Fujitsu uh -huh. are you with? So I'm representing part of Fujitsu, which is called Global Delivery Organization. What we do, we do not just resolve tickets or incidents or problems. We also provide IT consultancy services where we have our technology or di digital advisors, the guys who can guide our customers, who can show them the roadmap of our trusted partners, such vendors like Citrix and Microsoft. So we can recommend what new features to implement, what new shiny stuff to enable to make uh, the life of our users easier, better, etc., etc. I loved how you phrased it. The new technologies that are out there, the shiny new stuff that customers can take advantage of because one of those that's getting a lot of buzz lately is something called Microsoft WVD or Windows Virtual Desktop. So tell me, what the heck is WVD? <laughs> <laughs> WVD or Windows Virtual Desktop is a new set of technologies from Microsoft Azure that simply creates Windows 10 Virtual Desktop there. So it was launched last year and clearly became the evolution of Microsoft Remote Desktop Services or RDS. But there are four primary innovations. And first one is about uh, having Windows 10 multi-user operating system because previously such feature was available only in Windows Server operating system and now we have it in Windows 10 which is cool I think yeah because right. everybody likes I would say consistent experience yep. and you don't like working with server OS if you are like normal user not IT guy. WVD that's that's the actual Windows 10 end user operating system or interface but hosted in Azure and it's just Windows 10 and it's just Azure. Am I right on those? Yes, absolutely. But it's not just uh, Windows 10, I would say, benefits our end users are getting. The second one is that user profiles now are handled independently of the uh, desktop virtual machine in Azure. So they are placed in a separate containers. And this was enabled by FS Logix technology, which Microsoft purchased a couple of years ago. And the greatest thing I love about WVD actually is about licensing part because it has been improved and simplified dramatically. Yeah. So WVD rights now are included at no additional charge with multiple Windows 10 subscriptions such as N365 or Windows 10 Enterprise. And Tatiana, when you're talking to customers about WVD, what do you think the number one use case is that they're attracted to for WVD? Considering our current reality, I would say that the most popular use case for WVD nowadays would be enabling work from home concept for our customers. Mm -hmm. They need to work securely and from anywhere, like it will be your home or country house, whatever. I want to. I want to get there. How do I get a country house? Wait a. Wait a minute here. Tatiana says I need a country house. Hold on. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> To improve your productivity. That's, yes, that that's, will help. <laughs> yeah. But Tatiana, uh, we want to do a shout out to our sponsor, uh, Citrix. When you're talking to customers about WVD, where's the Citrix add on here? Where's the Citrix value add? Actually, our Fujitsu virtual workspace product is based on the combination, on a great combination, I would say, of Windows Virtual Desktop technology and Citrix cloud services as well. Because this combination removes all the worries about security, device compatibility and management, access to apps and data, and it allows our clients to focus on actually what they are doing, how and when they are doing their work. And the Citrix Cloud Services helps to achieve real-time performance optimization. 
to collaborate uh, more effectively for our clients and for ourselves, actually. It was so nice to talk to you, and I hope that we see you soon. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Bye-bye.